What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Check out these check out these shoes. But even better, check out these bad boys. Y'all remember Charlie in Jamaica? Look at this awesome bird. Hello. Y'all recognize this guy? That is Ian Tugboat Trash on Instagram and he has put us on some of our biggest videos ever. He travels the country on a tugboat all over the world too at some world, point. Yeah. Panama Canal. Yeah, I've been to Africa. All over the place on a tugboat. So he works for two weeks on and two weeks off and when he's home he does everything fun you can imagine and i've tried my hardest over the last couple months to meet up with him and we finally made that happen and if you're wondering why i'm putting on these shoes it's because he's taking us waiting for clams and he's going to make his world famous clam chowder tonight but before we start clamming i got to give a huge shout out to truebill and they are the title sponsor to this video y'all check them out and when you get back we'll be on the water catching clams all right, y'all don't panic. We're gonna get right back to that amazing video in just a minute. But first I gotta tell you about my 2022 New Year's resolution. I need to start saving money. You guys, I spend money like it's growing on trees. And that's where Truebill comes into effect. Truebill can cancel unwanted subscriptions, lower those bills for you, all your crazy bills. Yeah, they can lower them monitor your credit score, and they can even set up a smart savings account. Truebill safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. Truebill can negotiate your bills for you from internet bills to credit card bills. With complete access to your credit reports and history, Truebill alerts you of important changes and impacts your credit score and offers you insights on ways to improve it. Choose the amount and the frequency and Truebill will automatically deposit your savings into a smart savings account on the app and you can withdraw it at any time. To try it out for free, head to Truebill.com slash Blue Gabe or click the link in the video description below. Now trust me when I say if there's one thing I do a lot of and that's spend a lot of money. I don't even know what I'm spending most of it on, but luckily Truebill will keep track of that for me. Are you ready Ian or what? I'm ready. Let's go catch some clams. The oysters are starting to show. It's got to be close to dead low now, right? Probably an hour. We got like an hour, hour and a half. We got Kelly Young behind us carrying the ever so famous camera box. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What's up? You don't want to slip on them rocks. No, we do not want to fall on those oysters. If you've never been around oysters before, those are like thousands of razor blades down there. This is Ian's girlfriend, Crystal, Hello. and this is the star of the show, She's Bianca. Ready. Did you save some of those for me? Yes, I did. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I shared my pretzel with you. <laughs> we're ready to get this party started. Hopefully, oh, yeah. over the next few days, we're going to gig some flounder. We're going to catch some stone crab, possibly catch some redfish. But most importantly, we're going to have fun. Y'all catch anything? Drop the flounder. Oh, no. Look at all that line. Oh, no, 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 put it neutral. That whole line's hanging right where it's gonna grab in your prop. That's a good tech tip for any of y'all who run outboards or even trolling motors. Actually, at the gas station today, I was doing something. I looked on my phone and there was a video of a Minn Kota trolling motor that they took the prop off and it was completely encased in braided line. If you have an outboard, take your prop off every once in a while because you never know when you suck up line and it will get in there and eat into your lower unit and cost thousands of dollars to fix. Before we start clamming, we're gonna get rid of these stone crab traps. We're actually gonna do a stone crab video on Kelly's channel in a few days. He's already got five traps out. We're gonna put five more out, bait them, and hopefully in a few days when we pull them, there's enough crabs for everybody. Because if we only catch 10 or 12, they'll only be enough for me. And yeah, I'm way more fully dressed. Put on my frog togs because it was cold while we were running. So while we're idling along setting these traps out, it's very simple you just put bait in them find a, a good spot that you feel will produce throw the trap in the water and wait what I want to know from you guys is what's your favorite clam to eat I'm not a huge clam eater I grew up eating them fried but I don't really like them steamed I do love though conch chowder what is your favorite way to eat clam and what kind of clam would you want to eat if you only had one to eat what's yours babe I have no, I don't even know. I know, you're the same as me. She doesn't know either. We're not clamors. No. We want to know what's your favorite clam. The good one. The good one. What's the best one? I do want to go catch back in Maryland. No, Boston. I want to go back and catch yeah. those the razor ones? clams. Oh, no, the, the long ones. Yeah, where they had to dig up. Scroop. 
we love to razor clams and Anthony and if you did watch my Boston video where we went foraging and you remember Anthony leave a comment below if you want to see me and that goofball do another <laughs> collab because that was super fun all right we got about five more minutes of doing this and then we will be clamming what y'all came here to watch all right well we have arrived we've already broke out the Cheez-Its <laughs> we actually did a little bit of scenic tour around St. Augustine, went and looked at the fort, looked at the spot where they shoot the cannons, and we were walking around and didn't know they were about to shoot it, and it scared the bejesus out of us. Fuego. We're going to get out and walk up here with these rakes and start looking for clams. We're actually in a shellfish collecting area. Right over there is a sign. You've got to be on this side of that sign. They will take your boat. Whoa! <laughs> we just run aground and take you to jail if they catch you out of this area. Babe, you look so excited. How deep is that water? Six feet. <laughs> it said 1.3. Rolling but up. But now it's flashing. Are you going to put those cheeses down and catch some clams or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, our captain's smart enough to bring boots. <laughs> How many pairs of boots do we have, Kelly? What, at the house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got some long ones too, some like salmon Alaskan fishing boots. That would have been perfect. Yeah. I thought these little water shoes I bought would be great until the Velcro filled up with mud at the last spot. Not so great. Look at that, they don't hey, even you got stick that anymore. Thing back here. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. I feel bad we're getting his boat dirty, but if we were on mine, we'd be doing the same thing. Where'd you put them? These things were 12 bucks. Good buy. You just got to make sure you stick it on the sticky part. Look right there. I can Man, that water's way. cold. It is. See the bag of dead All right, let's go. So one thing I want to say about these foraging style videos, if y'all ever come do this, try to not take more than you need. Because if you think about how many people are on the planet, and if all of us do this and take more than we need, there'll definitely not be enough for all of us. So we're legally allowed two five-gallon buckets on the boat we're going to take less than a half of one so if any of y'all want to come do it you'll be able to find them and enjoy it also be careful you don't step on any of these oysters and disturb them take all day or what yeah i was stuck in the mud <laughs> oh this mud is nasty 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 we're right here on this feeder creek where it comes out of that estuary and dumps into the intercoastal or river or whatever this is. <laughs> Look at that. These are the same kind of clams we caught in Cape Cod in Boston. I'm not a huge clam eater, but I heard these are really good and he's known to make an insane bread bowl chowder. And he also said he makes stuffies and I'm like, well, we can't do both in one video. We got to make two videos. So I actually caught a couple while Kelly was getting up here. Look at her boots. Shout out Crystal for bringing me the boots. Look at these. That's a custom clam bag. You literally just, sometimes you can see them. And if you think we're hurting the environment, all of this will look exactly like this in just a minute. Look at this helicopter, babe. Trump, oh, it's like a military grade one. Oh. military base not far from here you just like you hear that you'll hear it and that's your little you said they're cohogs right yes, sir. cohogs we'll wash them off better in the bait well did you get Bianca's fall on camera I did actually Bianca how's your muddy butt feel I'm show pretty good V turn around and show them don't touch me oh, don't touch no. me wash your hands right there Literally a Luke in girl form. Babe. Oh, another one? No. Oh, yeah. These little rakes work really good. 
And the cool thing about this is right behind this, Ian's going to collect a couple oysters. Not very many because we don't, like I said earlier, want to hurt the environment, but a few won't hurt. If we all take a few, we can all catch them forever. Look, look at how stuck he is. Ian's not oh. very tall anyway, so he can't I'm get in very stuck. deep mud. <laughs> I don't want to stuck. Oh, man, B. Come here. I can't. Hold on. Now, when you're digging like this, you'll hit old oysters, dead oysters. Any live oysters will be up. And I promise you, if you step on those or fall, oh, you'll regret it. I'm super excited to do this part of the cooking video. When I get to these live ones, I'm sort of going to skip over them. Right here. This one's right out in the open. That's a big one. A big old big one. Look right there. See him? Look, babe. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look, I don't even need the rake. This one was cleaned off because you can see it's right here on the water level where it's flowing out. I think we're going to get enough. I think. I got to walk It's easy slow. to walk out here. It's super hard to walk in there. Dude, this, is, this is something good for you, dude. You know how you've been growing the... the uh, mangroves? Mangroves. You can try to grow some of these sea grapes. Yes. We see can... all the little ones sprouting? That'd be so cool. Look how black that mud is. See how right here it's not black? Yeah, it's weird. Look at that. See how that's not black? Look how black that is. Look at this. The that's mud looks nasty. Like it's gonna peel. Oh what? Yeah, it's the same thing. Look at this black stuff pouring it's out. It's gonna peel though. No, it's just it's like nasty it's black. Ew. I wonder if there's something living down there. Are you really gonna pull the ah! oh <laughs> pull a blue game and stick your hand in that mess? That's like oil. Yeah, that's weird. I think that's how oil's formed, isn't it? I have no idea. I think that is. <laughs> oh, God. Above my pay grade. <laughs> oh crap. Gabe walked over yonder. He's finding more clams. And Ian is over here. I'm trying not to get stuck and fall. Is getting some oysters. Yeah. So you see we got oysters here take a, a, a call this like a culling iron uh, my buddy Harold made this for me anyway so like I want this oyster right here and you got to break all the other ones off so you'll just clean the clump up till you have the one you want left and we'll get a couple for dinner hey babe yeah you know what they say about eating oysters right <laughs> Blue Gabe and I, we aren't very fond of oysters. Every time I try one, I just like swallow it and like cringe a little bit. But he's gonna make them a different way that we we normally don't eat them. So, oh gosh. What do you got? A big conch. Oh my god. It's edible. I know it is. It's like one of them lightning whelks, I think. Yeah. They collect these. We gonna make in Cape Cod. Oh, they definitely. Uh, there's certain people around here that I believe eat them. I've never eaten one. Well, we're about to eat one tonight, boys and girls. Oh, oh man. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Did you get my bound chicka wow wow dance yeah. over there, babe? Oysters. I think so. Oh my god. Y'all know what we're talking about. Uno. Dos tres cuatro. Hey, don't break that big shell. Cinco, seis, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I can only do it in German. Got it. I'm sorry that I'd be a full 60 right minute off going insane. Oh gosh. Let me put those in there. Okay. There we go. The little bird tracks. Come over here and tell me what kind of tracks these are. Uh oh. The cool thing about doing foraging style videos like this as humans aren't the only one who walk these beaches and look for food. Where do you think those tracks are? Hold on. Oh, raccoons. Raccoons. And I know up north, Maine and Alaska, bears do it. I know coyotes do it. Coons. 
everything forages off the beach and I'm super excited to eat this food. Y'all, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. It's 2022, it's my second video of this year. We will see y'all back at Ian's house where we're gonna cook this amazing dish. And I promise you from the pictures he sent me of the last time he cooked it, it's gonna be good. We'll see y'all there. There's a little sandpiper right there. Didn't you eat those? Snipe, that's almost the same thing as a snipe. Did you hear him, chirp chirp? He laughed at me. So pretty out here. All right, so El Capitan said it's time to add <laughs> the vegetables. Going in with some onion and some celery. I probably did, you know, double onion to celery. Can y'all smell that? I mean, who was the first person to ever think, let's eat a crustacean that feeds on the bottom? I think it was somebody that was really hungry. They had to. <laughs> Come over here, babe, and look at this now. Look what she's doing now. Added some cooked bacon on bacon. top with some cheese. Mm -hmm. All you oyster garlic lovers. Garlic butter. Oh, garlic butter? Yep, yeah, we're carboiling. Now it's going to taste like a booger wrapped in cheese and bacon, <laughs> bacon and garlic. Bacon but butter. think about it, that'd be a good booger. It'd be a real good booger. <laughs> So whenever Luke's getting filmed, at least 99% of the time, he's going to stick his finger in his nose. It's almost like a habit. Yeah, how do you know when they're done? They pop open? Habit. When they're popping open, they're starting to pop now. You yeah. pull that one out. Pop it like it's hot. Eat now, that one. Can you just eat it like this? Absolutely. Dip in that little bit of butter. How are your fingers not burning? They are. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> fingers. You gotta do it for the tube. You just gotta go in and deal with it. Where's the butter at? You put the, um, the conch in it, the bowl. Ew, it's squishy. <laughs> Why is it so squishy? Oh, you can't cut it up. Just eat it. You no, should. you gotta get the guts out. Uh... <laughs> you should've let me eat it. It's like popping a blackhead right Ew, there. Look, no, babe. no, stop. Pink. Oh, man. All right. Where's yeah, the, I just eat them. Where's the butter? Like, you're the host, you should get the first one. Now that Gabe touched it a bunch, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah, we mushed it all up. That's good? Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> I'll stick with lobsters and crab and stuff like that. Now, I do love clam and a chowder, and that's what we're about to eat. Mm. Smell it. Drink that little bit of juice in there. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> How about this lighting? Fancy. I don't, we... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Crystal said that thing fell and hit her. If there's it any any it. electricians out there that want to come <laughs> fix my lighting, I'll take them fishing. So what is your TikTok? My TikTok is Tug <laughs> Trash with a, I guess it's an underscore in between. So yeah. T-U-G oh, underscore trash. I work on tugboats. And it's a term that makes more sense if you work on tugboats. One thing I will tell you is he cooks some amazing, he's pretty much the only TikToker I consistently watch when he does his cooking style videos. He's a little bland, I gotta season him up a little bit because it's like, okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make this. But when he does it, it's phenomenal. So check out his TikTok if you're on TikTok. And you do it on Instagram too. Yeah, I do a little cooking on Instagram. My Instagram's more like just what I've been up to, what I've been fishing for catch in a little bit of work this was his fortune today uh, after you said that to him my TikTok, i like doing <laughs> different cooking techniques and, and things i make on the boat your magnetic personality will draw people to you uh, <laughs> am i missing that magnetic personality <laughs> oh yeah and jake caught his 30 inch speckled sea trout with him 30 incher how many have you caught I've caught zero 30 inch speckled <laughs> trout, but since that day I've been trying and the best I've been able to do is about 27 and a half. That's big. Yeah. And it's so funny because the keyboard warriors will come out and be like, I've caught them 34 and a half inches. Well, I can tell you one thing about Jake's. We measured it both. It's, it was 14 inches around and 30 inches long mm -hmm. on camera, on film. Y'all watched it. That's just what it was. I'm hungry. The, if you catch a 30 inch sea trout in your life, very few people do that and very few people do it multiple times. I'm not saying that they don't, but it's definitely a milestone. Yeah. What about this? Like, you don't like the garlic in the jar like I use? 
We can use gar jar garlic if you want. I'm just bougie, you know? <laughs> Should we take these clams off? Uh, yeah. Are they opening up? Yeah. Okay, let me um, get a thing to put them in. We can't just dump them in the sink? No, because we want to make sure we keep oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the yeah, yeah. The pot. I forgot about that. He needs the juice. The tongs. Alright, this is going to be noisy. Boat show her. Alright, let me see if I can get a little better angle here. Are they all open? They need to all be open. Hold yeah, up, wait work. a minute. Yeah, right. every one of them's open. Okay, that's cool. <coughs> <laughs> And that's an acquired smell right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, do we need them all out of here, or do you want them still in here? No, you can put them right in there. I don't know if that'll hold them all. Uh, or you can just put them right in the sink. Woo! All right, so we're pretty much just gonna pop them out. Let me go ahead and show the folks at home. Folks at home, folks at home. That's hot in case y'all are wondering. Look, this is all we're gonna do. We're gonna lay it down there and chop it up. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You can let them cool off a little bit. <laughs> Woo. Let me see here. Let me see here. That ain't bad. Mm-mm. A little chewy. Right. No, I like them. The big salty? ones are a little chewy. All right, I got my uh, vegetables cooked down real good. Add a little bit of flour to that bacon grease. And just cook the uh, the raw taste out of it. The quote unquote roux. Yeah, <laughs> it is a roux. Babe, come over here though. Oh man. Let's see. She's got one over here off. cooling off for me. Mm -hmm. Yep, I don't know about the cooling off part. Yeah, they're yeah, super like hot. <laughs> Smells really good. Yeah, cheese and bacon. But see, I went to an oyster bar one time and they had like $8 individual oysters all the way down to a dollar. I'm like, give me one of them $8 ones. Oh. Well, I can tell you that that they oyster the same. is probably the freshest oyster you'll ever eat in your life. Yeah, because we caught it like 18 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Chew it up. <laughs> The gears in his brain are working right now. I was trying to find the oyster in there. I know. <laughs> All right, we gotta go in. Why didn't you catch more of these? <laughs> Good, aren't they? Garlic butter. Mm. We, we got have stuff happening over here, though. He said we have stuff over here, though. We got garlic going in, because I forgot it a second ago, but it's gonna be okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our diced, uh, these are Yukon gold potatoes in. I like the Yukon golds. Give that a little stir. And then we have the reserved cooking liquid from the clams. This is what's going to give it a really good flavor. Hmm. I didn't know all this was in clam chowder. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we'll bring that up to a uh, simmer and we'll cook it till, to, uh, till the potatoes are tender. Oh, man. There's got to be some type of broth in chowder, so. Kind of makes sense. You never really think about it though. I mean, it, it probably gives it more clam flavor than the actual clams. Yeah, 100%. What's she doing over here? Look at that though. Now, you clam connoisseurs, how do y'all leave that part? See, I cleaned them. I clean what I'm calling the blackhead out of them. Because if you pop it, look, boop, that pops out. What do you guys do that cook a lot of clams? How do y'all, do y'all take them out or do you? Leave them in. We're just going all in at once? Yep. Go ahead. We'll just let that heat through a little bit there. Turn it down a bit. Turn our timer off. We're going to add some half and half. Now, why did you say we waited till the end to do the half and half? If it's too hot, it'll want to separate on you. So, you know, instead of simmering the potatoes and everything, we'll do it right at the end, heat everything through, and just, just bring it up to a very light simmer. I know it looks good. Mm -hmm. Also, right before we eat it, we'll taste it and just check for salt since everything, you know, all that cooking liquid and everything already has a lot of salt, just so you're not over salting your uh, chowder. 
Yeah, I mean, these clams came out of very salty water. Like that oyster I just had was actually really good. <laughs> but it was really salty. She actually just put another batch on. I think we're ready to eat. That's it. So he didn't add the clams at the beginning because they'll get too tough. He waited till the very end. We already had the clam juice as a base. He added the half and half and the clams at the end because they don't need to be in there for very long. Correct? Correct. Now what are we gonna do? Just dump it in that bread bowl? Yep. Oh we'll, my goodness. We'll give it a little taste. Oh my goodness. I'm not about to stick a metal spoon in there. That'd be too hot. <laughs> What do you think, a little salt or no? No, my God, that's good. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I'm not even just saying, I'm double dipping, y'all. We're all healthy individuals around here. <laughs> Man, that's good. That's a, a Florida-style clam chowder. Right there, Florida cracker. <laughs> he grew up in South Florida. Ian and I actually were, we grew up side by side when we were younger. We didn't know each other very well. I didn't even know you were into fishing and hunting until we were older. No, no. I mean, when we were in well, middle I, school and stuff, you played with Barbie dolls and stuff. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all look at his deer heads. He's got turkeys. He's just like us. And when we're done right now, as soon as we're done with this, we're going flounder gigging and tomorrow stone crabs and poor Bianca's got to go to school, unfortunately for her. And whatever She's else we us. might get into. <laughs> yeah. Babe, what, what are you doing with the knife? I'm cutting up the bread. You had one job, babe, and that wasn't to cut up my bread bowl. You said you wanted a bowl. <laughs> I know, I was just teasing. So, because we are in a rush, we're actually not going to put it in a bread bowl because for any other reason than that's just, um, how do you say that word? Extra? No, cosmetics. Yeah. Cosmetics. <laughs> we're just going to go with bowls and dip the bread in it. Yeah. Aesthetics. Aesthetics. Yeah, it's just for aesthetics. <laughs> oh my About goodness. About 500 degrees, sir. What are y'all gonna eat? <laughs> this is for me. That's my plate. <laughs> oh, if y'all could only smell that. This isn't even an oyster video, but that <laughs> smells amazing. Oh, oh, a little bit on the beard. Mm. Hot. It was good though. Bianca? Shut up. Oh, you're dipping the bread. Oh yeah. The bread, the bread is the, is the move. Mm -hmm. What'd she think? Did he do good this time? Yeah, much better. Babe, what you think? I love it. Can I have a little piece? Two oh, yeah. thumbs up. Two thumbs up, but the other one's eating. We're getting ready to go fish gigging. It's going to be cold out there. This will definitely hit the spot. Right now, though, y'all know what time it is. Well, it's definitely hot. <laughs> we will catch y'all in the next one. Like Jake always says, trying to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. Yeah.